Okay guys, um, welcome to part two of this Leisha and Leah's explanation. Now, um, last tutorial I said we'll go through two different changes, um, two different states, a gaseous state and an aqueous state, okay? So let me explain. Now, let's say that we have, we're going to modify our famous equation in a little bit. We've got A plus B gives us 2C plus D. And let's say that all of these are in gaseous phase, okay? Gas. And um, we'll make up our other equations soon. Um, now, the only thing that can affect a gas, if you start changing, um, if you dilute a gas, you're actually going to get this equilibrium system to not respond to you. If you dilute it by placing in water, it's not going to affect your gas system, okay? Because it's gas, water's liquid, yeah? So it won't do anything. Now, the only way to start changing the volume of, um, of this system, you can change the volume, but you can only change it by changing pressure in this case. So um, if you, um, this is pressure sensitive, this system. Pressure sensitive. Okay, it's pressure sensitive, which means that um, when you start increasing pressure, okay, since pressure is proportional to 1 over volume, this is Boyle's law. I don't know whether you all recognize this, but essentially what it is, is um, it's kind of common sense that when you increase the pressure, you kind of squeeze everything together, right? You're putting everything closer together, and so the volume of that content actually decreases. So you'll find that um, pressure is inversely proportional um, to 1 over volume, okay? So let's have a look at what happens if we start changing the pressure of these systems. Let's have a look at, um, there's obviously two changes. You can either increase the pressure or decrease. So let's have a look at what happens when you increase the pressure first. Okay. I won't do them all at once. I'll try and do them one time, once, um, yeah, one at a time. Okay, so when we increase the pressure, okay, think in this case what happens to particles and the distances between particles. If you increase the pressure, that means you're squeezing everything closer together, okay? So the little distances between the particles, if you imagine them being little balls, the distances between them get smaller, right? So what Lee Chatelier's principle says is it wants to get it more bigger again, like more spread out. It doesn't want to make it so tight, like the spaces so tiny. So um, we have a choice here with this reaction, okay? Um, we can go to the side that generates more particles. As you can see, there's three particles here because there's two C's and one D. And there's two particles here. So we either have a choice. Our equilibrium can shift in a way to generate more particles or it can shift in a way to generate less particles. Okay? Now remember what we've done. We've increased pressure. So we've We've decreased the distances between particles and therefore making more will just make a bigger problem because you have more, less space even, even, even less space than you did before. So we're actually going, we're actually going to generate only two particles. Okay, so we go to the side with less particles, we go backwards because we kind of want to spread out those particles back again. So. If there was 2 and 2, alright, then there would be no change in your shift. Okay, but since um, there's 2 here on this side, then you go backwards, okay? So that's what happens when you increase the pressure. Okay, let's consider what happens when we decrease pressure. When we decrease pressure, um, basically we're like allowing more uh, the volume to grow. So if we decrease pressure, the volume goes up. Because there's no like force on those particles. It's all like starting to um, move outwards. So we increase the volume. Now, if we increase the volume, the particle size, the distance between each individual particle actually grows. It gets bigger. Okay? So we want to get it to uh, violate Chatelier's principle to make them smaller, the distances between those particles. So, um, the logic is that if you go forward this time and generate three particles, 
then you can take up more space, like you can fill in the space, okay, and um, the distances between each individual particle will drop. So in that case, you go forward. Okay, so my suggestion to you is just to um, think about it fr from the perspective of particle distance, okay? Um, that's the easiest way for me to explain this, okay? So, let's have a look at um, an aqueous system this time. Okay, so aqueous, um, if we have, again, like I'm just going to make an equation up. 3B gives us 2C plus um, 2D. If all of these are aqueous, okay, um, if you change the pressure, it will have absolutely no effect on the system because a change of pressure only can affect gases. In this case, you can only change your volume by dilution. So let's have a look at two cases. Let's say you added, added, um, you know, 300 mils of water of water into this system. So obviously since you've added 300 mils of water, um, you've kind of created the particle size, the particle distances to spread out because there's more water, there's more medium, and they will move apart from each other. So if you've, so you've basically here diluted, diluted, that's what it's defined by. Okay, so because each particle is more spread out, you want to create, you want to go to the side that has more particles. Now let us see. There's four particles here, and there's four particles here. So this is a bit of um, an issue here because the, the equilibrium will not shift in any particular way because there's the same amount of particles on both sides. But if I were to adjust this to two, okay, now I have five particles here and only four particles there since I've diluted my system then the system's going to go to the direction that has more particles so you go backwards in this case okay and it will go backwards because that way it can generate five particles instead of four and the distances between the particles will become smaller okay um, and finally if the opposite case happens if you um, evaporate it Evaporate. Evaporated 300 mils of water. Basically, you um, have less water now. the The particle size becomes the particles become closer together. So you want to spread them out via Lee Chevalier's principle, and you go into the direction that has less that is generating less particles, and that's going forward. In that case, all right. So I hope that cleared up the issue of. Um, volume change and pressure change in two different systems in aqueous and in gaseous. Um, have a look at part three of Lee Chevalier's principle and then we'll go through some examples as well. Thank you. Bye.